Well, from frogs to tigers. Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. Tiger Woods makes his apology to his wife, his family, his fans, and he was ch and to children who looked up to him. In his speech, he talks about why he made the choices he did. Take a listen. I knew my actions were wrong, but I convinced myself that normal rules didn't apply. I never thought about who I was hurting. Instead, I thought only about myself. I ran straight through the boundaries that a married couple should live by. I thought I could get away with whatever I wanted to. I felt that I had worked hard my entire life and deserved to enjoy all the temptations around me. I felt I was entitled. I thought it was really interesting um, that he, you know, he, he spoke for a very long time, first of all. Thirteen and a half minutes. I know, it was crazy. Yeah. It seemed to go on and on. And I do think that at some points he seemed sincere, and then he kind of lashed out at the media, and, and granted, I'm in the media, so he was talking about how, how this is a private event, private, 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 but his private parts have been very public. You know, so uh, I just wonder true. at what point, how can you say it's private, private, private? If it was something going on between you and your wife, you know, she had a sickness or something like that. But when you have all these women, a, a portion of the public who you're fooling around with, at what point does it stop being a private event and, and start being public because you're a public fi figure doing this public thing? All right. As far as the apology, I mean, it was scripted. It was robotic. I'm glad he did it. He had after the time that it passed. That's great. Uh, as far as the golf thing is concerned, seems I'm the sports guy, I guess. Uh, I've been to many tournaments that Tiger's been at, and this guy not only intimidates the golfers he's playing against, mm. but he intimidates crowds. Mm. I mean, people just don't talk when he's near them. Other groups will be up the tee, people will be talking, talking, talking. He comes near a tee box. Everyone stands there like you know they're in the library at school. I think now that this has happened, the Tiger intimidation factor won't be as solid as it was before because it's other golfers will be like, this yo, this machine. guy, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he puts his pants on the same way as I do. He takes them off. One leg at a time. And, uh, <laughs> exactly. But, uh, you know, he's human and he can be beaten, you know. So. I think yeah. that's a really good point. I, th I think the, uh, the speech itself, I think it was, it was obviously very scripted. And people forget, this guy's a, a smart, smart guy. He was valedictorian at his high school. He went to, went to Stanford. I think if he kind of just came out and just spoke from his heart as opposed to being so mechanical, I think, you know, would have came over a little better. I do think he was sincere. I do think he's realizing what he did. I mean, it's affecting so many people. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hurt his children. But um, I, I would have liked to see him kind of speak from the heart as opposed to, like, everything that he does in his life. It's everything is so scripted. A team yeah. of people, you know, I mean, it's worked, unfortunately, up until this event. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I would have just liked to see him kind of wing it because he is an articulate guy. He is an intelligent guy, and I think he could have uh, apologized a little better if he if he went with that route. You know, and I think one last thing is just that, you know, Elon, with all the pictures that you've seen of her wedding band being off and her not being there, it was a big surprise to me that it seems as though, at least for now, maybe this is just positioning or whatever, but it seems as though he legitimately wants to work on his marriage yeah. and is hoping to... <coughs> Apparently to they're on vacation together right now. Uh, they flew out of Orlando. We'll see. You know, Courtney, I want to throw this over to you because I know that some people in our audience are kind of tired about talking about, about Tiger. I, for one, am not. Um, but, uh, but I'm interested to hear what people are saying on the live blog and on our Facebook page. They are definitely tired of hearing about it, but they did watch, it seems, because they're weighing in on what they think and if they thought his apology was sincere. So let's hear some of the comments on the live blog on foxprovidence.com. And this one is from Smokey Wolves, and she said, yes, I think he did a very good job. I believe he realizes he has done wrong and Lisa says I'm really tired of hearing about it uh, hearing about it and TD Rock agrees he says totally don't tiger fake rehearsed whatever is what he said and um, here's another comment she said I guess everyone wanted him to do it so he did but I think his apology was mainly for his wife and mother slash family however he's still a great golfer so here's our poll on foxprovidence.com if you want to weigh in from home do you think Tiger's apology was authentic your choices are a yes he seemed sincere and sorry or b no it seemed rehearsed and artificial and if you missed it we have the video link there and you can rewatch it and then you can weigh in on, on the Hold. Here's a snapshot of Facebook right now. I put this up about 45 minutes ago, and we've heard from 12 of you so far. And Pamela says, authentic? I don't know. Only time will tell as actions speak much louder than words. And I definitely agree with her, so we can, we can move on from that now. But uh, I'll be back in about a half hour with your poll results to see what you all are saying. So for now, back to the